Hey guys, Lord Naren White here, the Holy Ghost, the one true God. Back with you with today's vid video in my Europa Universalis playlist. Continuing my second, my first, excuse me, Iron Man campaign with Castile in this case. Without further ado, let's get back to the war against the Ottoman Empire. Alright, so moving is one big stack here so, so as to not be stacked out by the Ottomans. Enemy sieging our provinces here. So let's get these men over here. Alright, good stuff. This is going amazing, man. Yeah, if anything, actually, I'd probably want to take Tripoli for the sake of how close it is, so... So really, the Crusades have found the Ottoman Empire here. They're pushing back on Russia's side, which is probably for the best. But they are absolutely getting pushed on this side as well. Not accepting anything. Military access from Venice. Yeah, sure. We'll get there when we get there regarding the loans. For now, we should be okay. Enemy sieging our provinces, whatever. What are we gonna do about that for now? Beautiful decision to stay in this war. Um, it has paid off tremendously. Just standing and fighting in this war has really worked out for us. So, yeah, I'm very happy with our decision here. Ottoman's running out of troops, it looks like, so... It should still be time by 1606, so we got a long time to go still. Excellent. We'll, we'll figure this out after. Let's not colonize anymore for now. Um, because we don't have any men. Or we can colonize up here if we want. Arawak attacking us again. Do we have any men here? New Granada. Spanish Brazil. This is painful, man. Does New Granada have the men? I don't know. I, I truly do not know, um, you know, what is happening there. 
We got a 2.1k man. 2k with 12k reserves, Arawak with 5k with 8k reserves. I mean, it's close, it's just that, uh, yeah, they might need help, so that's the issue we're facing. Yeah, and I can't actually bring my ships out, I think. Let's see. Let's see if I can get some ships. You know, really anything I can bring here will help, right? I could get more troops there. I don't know. I mean, I really don't know. Honestly, what's correct? But that isn't really going to help us here per se. But yeah, it's, I'm really not sure what to say. So. Let the Ottomans fight over there for now. We are sieging quite well on this side. so far against the Ottomans. And that's kind of the issue I'm facing here is they're attacking us again in Arawak, right? We don't even have the men to fight back, so, so. Like, I could even annex this for Spain, but I can't annex it for New Granada, which doesn't have the men. The Spanish Brazil has 10k, 23k. But, uh, yeah, that's kind of the issue we're facing here. So we don't have enough money for this one. Well, we'll have to see what happens, honestly. I don't know what is going to happen here, so. I'm definitely willing to swoop in and proverbially save the day, but it's not going to be so easy. So. I'm not going to be able to get our cogs out for now, so I've got to keep moving forward, basically. It's gone very well for us so far, so... Trying to surround this 9.4k army here. And there we get the engagement we're looking for. Okay, so now we need to go to Aragon. Gonna be able to cross uh, the river, so at this point Russia seems to be losing on this side, which is fine. They fought so hard, man, and they actually may still win on that side, which is unreal. So, what we need to do is just get our guys into a position to siege up here. So we're doing that for now, and we need to go ahead and try and get this guy, these guys out of here. letting these guys just escape, you know? Alright, so let's just watch this guy over here that they don't come back. Because we don't want them around us, so. is still really strong here, so...
We're getting some big wins here, honestly. It is going very, very, very well. guys doing here in New Granada not great on my god and what sucks is like the more time I put into New Granada the worse it's the worse it's getting like, honestly it's like these guys aren't capable of defending themselves against our walk so and what am I supposed to do honestly here at the end of the day This is crazy, actually. This is because this is actually just like super stupid. I'll have to figure this out after the stuff with the Ottomans because we're doing very well here. We need to continue doing well here. So, yeah. The Ottomans in Cambria. One second here. I think we should peace out on this world right now because we still get a chance to get Cambria at 80% victory here. go like this. Well, that was we have to reconquer all of Cambria, and at this point the Ottomans are still pretty strong, so... So we can either go for Naples, or we can push Castilla and Maghreb here, into Tripoli. Tripoli's pretty weak, so before we make a decision, let's, who are their allies? Ottomans? Hmm, pretty good choice, actually. But at the same time, these guys are really getting pushed over here in Italy. I'd probably rather have the European one back. Hmm. I mean, it's a difficult decision at the end of the day. I feel like let's just leave it like this and look to get some stuff in Italy. Right, that gives us a better beach shot also, pushing against the Ottomans. So we have Naples surrounded. I'm just thinking for myself, like... They'll accept 89, they won't accept 99. Accept 89 like this though. 89 is pretty good, right? Pretty good, I'd say. I don't think we want the stuff right in their face. I mean, here's the thing, man. Like, at the end of the day, no matter how you look at it, like... We don't really want to be fully in the Ottoman Empire's face, do we? Though, if we take every bit of land here from the Ottomans over here, then... I mean, Tripoli ain't a problem. Why should we put someone else in front of the way either as well, right? I'm just thinking if we let those go... Something like this, maybe. I don't know. We can still get 89, so. Something like this. Why, why leave the Ottomans here? Let's get them out of there fully, I'd say. We could use the gold big time. They go all the way up to 89, right? 90 even. Wow. Look at the gold value we can negotiate from them. This is crazy. This gold is huge to pay back the loans and everything. Yeah, let's take this too. Wow, look at that deal right there. Look at that. Look at that for Spain right there. That's crazy, man. I mean, that was a really good deal, I feel. So we got a lot of gold, we got a lot of stuff here. So 
So disband our independent army. Get every other last unit out of there. And um, let's get our guys home, man. Huh? We fought so hard, like. So, now, with an excellent war, uh, we'll have time to rebuild everything uh, in due time. But we actually first want to deal with this question about Arawak here. What are we going to do with Arawak? I mean, I feel like the right thing to do is wipe out Arawak, which we can now do by shipping over a unit of troops. How many do I have here? Yeah, like that seems like the point. The point is actually... Okay, so first things first. We should core everything here. But we can first core everything before we convert anything, let's see. First core before we do anything else. And then uh, we'll figure out the conversions for now. The Pope's got some help on his doorstep at least. Overextension is dangerously high. Yeah, we're working on that part for sure. We're working on it, I'm sure. Yeah, Ancona would be a good one to core, for sure, so... Oh, man, um... So, if we could please bring, I would say... Two, three, four, five, six... Six more units here. And let's get a transport of six here. These the transports, yeah. Okay. Next thing, let's please repay our loans, maybe. No, we can't even afford it. Um, so, yeah, not a good position to be in. With colonial maintenance also ticking, army maintenance. It's not so easy in this game, is it? This is kind of the question, isn't it? It's like, do we fight Arawak first thing? I mean, seriously, do we? Because, like, we could put ourselves in a position here to declare a war against Arawak. Because Arawak has proven quite troublesome, so it's like, you can't just avoid them. You may as well actually fight back against them. Because they're causing our colony some problems here. Oh, we have a truce against them. For how long? Till 1618. This is insane. This is insane, dude. I mean, we, so we can't even do anything. Man. Like honestly, we actually really can't even do anything. Oh, did we win? Arwak may be leaving for all I know. I'm gonna hold off here and see what happens. I'm gonna bring these six troops up up here. I don't know what is gonna happen here, and um, yeah, I'll figure it out from there. So we, we have all these men over here. We're gonna get them home, man. Oh, we can't even get our guys out of there. That's crazy. Crazy. Cannot even get our guys home, man. Okay, 
So, yeah, here we go. So we have two two provinces for Spain. We could use two here, and uh, probably maybe even keep two over here as we core everything up over time. So. Honestly, it's some amazing stuff here. France and Genoa. I mean, honestly, getting Naples up on audio would be pretty helpful, <laughs> to be honest. But, uh, yeah, I don't know if we have the manpower right now. Thing is, this province is becoming quite troublesome because we can't even move our guys out of there, so. That is very useful, is it? Anyways, we'll rebuild uh, the army correctly. Who? Spoleto? Where is Spoleto? Oh, Spoleto. Beautiful. Does he even have any allies? It's Tuscany. I shouldn't have got our guys out of there. I'll tell you what, I don't know how this is gonna go exactly, but we could bring our guys back and try and get these guys up on out of here. Because we will get that connection that we're looking for, which is right now hindered. I think we need troops in position first, though, because even if we declare the war, they still have a massive amount of troops, so let's get these guys back into position before we declare the war. And, you know, get more of our guys over there, so... This actually ain't that bad, because there's no way we would have just known that this was going to happen, right? so... I mean, it's already in numerical you know, numbers to actually do something, so. It's going very well so far. This is literally going as well as it could possibly go. Alright, so let's start smashing some people. Is France in this world? Well, France is not at war with this one. Okay, good. This could be a lot worse, so... <laughs> not bad. Not bad at all, so... Let's smash these guys here. Can't seem to get a gauge on them yet, but we're going for it, so. Let's have our numbers sit back for a second here. 
And now if we can have, if we can please stack them out there. So I don't know how they are so much stronger than this thing. No tech 16 and over 14. So that's why. You would think we would win, but we did not. Okay, I know what needs to happen now, which is we need to hire Murkha. Any allies we can get, anything. Anyone help us? Let's see. Can we take out some loans to try and solve this problem? Hiring a better funded mercenary company. It seems like it could be a possibility. This is proving to be a very difficult war, I'll be honest. Oh, it's proving to be very, very difficult here. I'm so trying to get my morale up basically before the next fight. No joke, man. They're just pushing our Spanish army around right now. So yeah, we're going to be very different, honestly. So all our men are elsewhere. So this is going about as bad as it can go. 
yeah, wow, this has gone horrifically bad. We are in a bad, bad, bad state. I'm not going to call it pride or anything, but I am going to objectively say that we really, really, really... I'm not embracing the printed press right now. We need more men, so... Gotta go with uh, these guys here, man. to try and push back against these guys, right? So... While also being able to somehow secure our border. <sighs> what a joke. Um... They'll be ready to push up in some time. some serious debt here. And one step at a time, let's keep pushing. Naples pushing on this front. It's a widespread pandemonium here. Still, I'm trying to beat these guys up on out of here. If we can, you know. So. This one really turned into something difficult for sure. But one thing we can do is... That's a style you don't see every day. Two different Spanish noble rebel groups fighting each other over an empty, <laughs> empty Spain. That's something you don't see every day right there. Oh yeah. chance I'm doing any colony work for a while here. I think I'll still be able to hold on, which is just crazy. 
Now, I mean, that's freaking crazy. <laughs> like, I have, like, nothing to show for all this. And here they are moving in, the noble rebels, Tuscany, a bunch of other people moving into my land here. And I'm trying to fight them out of theirs for sure first before turning my eye to them, so... You know what's crazy is it's still not too late for us. That's what's actually crazy. We can still wipe out this entire force if we actually get everything together, which is unbelievable. I mean, unassigned merchant. Okay, I don't even know what to say, man, honestly. I don't want to worry about any of that stuff for right now and just focus on getting this stuff done here. We'll go ahead and end the video there for this week, and with that I want to say thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed. Please like, comment, and subscribe as it greatly helps the channel. Like to be with you all, take care, and thanks again.